singles. Whatever they do, and whoever they're doing it with, it's guaranteed to make the front pages. Our cameras were exclusively with them as they prepared to party last night. And Andy was their very special guest. When the Spice Girls invited celebrities to be the only TV show allowed into their album launch, well, who was I to say no? The whole evening started here in the Sanderson Hotel in London's hey! West End. Hello. Okay, so talk us through what you're wearing. Like There's I'm not much to, to talk through, though, is there? I look like I'm going to a uh, Caribbean. Day. I'm in Billy Idol T-shirt. John Paul Gaultier trousers. Brooklyn stuck all these little flowers on himself. Okay. Emma, Emma. Sheen. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put your top on. Oh, <laughs> oh you've no, done no. a Judy Finnegan. Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, could you hurry up and get ready? Because I, I need to do an exclusive interview here. with you. Downstairs on the bed. So oh, you need sorry, to get yourself ready. Don't you know who we are? Have you waited for this day, the launch of your album, for a long time? It has felt like it, it is it's actually. It's felt like a while since the last time. quite a bit ago. We are excited about this album. We've, done, we've worked yeah. hard. We have. Nice and yeah. I'd, I'd really like to say a massive thank you to our fans because they're so oh, loyal. Patient. Yeah, and patient. Yeah. They've stuck with us. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we've gone off, we've done a brand new album and it's a bit different and we didn't know, you know, how people would perceive it, but they've been absolutely There, bad. by so, our side. Thank you Hail so the much. fans! Well, later. How, how does this, Victoria, differ from Spice I knew, how did I know you were going to say because Victoria? Because Victoria said anything yet, yeah. exactly, yeah. and that's it. But after oh, a good interviewer, I just move it along. As a four-piece now, you know, there's, there's nothing or anything holding us back. We can really vocally do so much more, choreography-wise. Mm. Don't you think you've got some beautiful ballads? Whoa, <laughs> Lord of Ballads! You've obviously very consciously decided that you're not going to travel up and down the country. You're not going to appear with your, you know, tops off on the front page of the National Newspaper. <laughs> can you no, see... No, we do that in our private time when we're on holiday. <laughs> yeah. but you can you what, see when... where they're coming from? Or do you, you know, you seem so chilled about yeah, it. Yeah, I think, you know, Westlife has had a fantastic success, you know. We... In this country? Yeah, but we, we really... <laughs> we, no, but, you know, they do do things in our and we do really respect what they've done yeah, because, yeah. because not to sound patronising but we've done that too. Yeah. So if the album goes in at number two. It will. <laughs> we may as well say it now, there's no way we're gonna be West Side. The thing is the thing there's is no with us I think I think with us. But will never, you be happy? Will you be content? Yeah. We've never, oh, we've never really gone if it doesn't get there then we're not gonna be happy and we have to work hard it's to get it there. there. I think I think with us whatever happens happens. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day we're really proud to get our music out again and we're glad that our audience has grown with us. Yeah. So, you know, it's about getting your music out at the end of the day and it's about people listening to it and wanting to listen it. to it. <laughs> Emma, what's your favourite? Yeah. track on the album. It has to be If You Want to Have Some Fun. Right. If you want to have some fun, track me down and get my number. <laughs> but are you ready for a good night tonight? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Thank you. 